Taking on balance in life leads Rocky to become an outstanding leader in the home. Laying everything on maximizing his potential at all times creates a life principle that he lives by with passion. And Rocky's at, you know, he's coaching at one of the finest universities on the planet, both academically and athletically, and he's dealing with very talented people. It is possible to win. And so we talked about that, and, and the four of us talked about that in, in marriage counseling. And, and then, again, to see Rock um, employ those principles and be a great example for his colleagues, it's, it's excellent. You know, he's taught me so much about football, and not, not just about football, we talk about life and just, you know, being a man and all that, and it's, he's really great with it, and that's, that's the, the honest truth about it, he's really great with it, and he, he's a great teacher too. I think he does a great job of just the, the lessons he teaches us about, you know, humility and, and, and living the right way. He relates it all to football in a way, but it's always taught just as a life lesson, not just about what we do in practice, but, uh, but applying it to how we live our lives and just being that way in general, being humble about things and, and appreciating and knowing that we're blessed about things. He's always there, you know, and he's always there for you, um, for support or whatever you need. And, you know, I'm out of state, so whenever I go home and then, you know, if I come back, he's like, you have a ride from the airport. Like, you know, he's always talking to me on the weekends, even when we don't have practice, you know, and he's in my, you know, our personal lives and our family lives and it makes it, you know, our relationship better. The fact that he, he came here and, and walked on and got a scholarship and volunteered and then, and then wound up as a graduate assistant and then eventually we hired him, you know, and I mean just he took every step the hard way and battled through it and, and uh, persevered, you know, when a lot of other guys would have turned away. But, but you know, he just he believed in himself and, and, and believed in what he was dreaming about and he made it happen, you know. Rocky is really something that I really believe your, your beginnings are some of your most precious times. God can change in midstream and he can change in midstream and, and at the end of the show he can change those things but your first steps I think it's so important for them to be strong. And from the very beginning Rocky was so circumspect with everything that he did on the field. He took very seriously his impact on the players. He really almost like a mother hen uh, shepherded them. I felt the impact that the guys have had in my life. And I kind of wanted to be that type of guy for other people. And uh, that's, that just tells you how many good people God has put around me, from parents to friends to coaches to teammates. And that's, that's probably the essence. And I love the X's and O's parts. I love it. I love teaching technique. I love teaching guys how to make plays. I like, but the main thing is I love just working on working and establishing relationships with guys. I love that part. I'm, I'm, I'm only 32, so I like to think I'm their big brother still. I will hopefully, hopefully someday I'll, I'll be coaching still and, uh, and be old enough to consider myself as a parent. But uh, absolutely, absolutely, there's there, there's different rights and wrongs, you know, and and not all the players are believers, so that's okay. That's what we're here for. But most of the principles that that I get to talk about, share about, you know, where the source comes from, it comes right from the Word. And I may not quote the scripture, but the but the, the source is there. You know, for, even from going back to how we define success. And God, I really feel that doesn't define success about how many championships you win, how much money you make, how much, how high you go in the draft. It's about, to me, no matter what, whatever the gifts God gave you, the opportunities God gave you to maximize those things. It's like the parable of those uh, talents. It goes back to that. You know, it's, uh, the, the, the same response for each servant was well done, good and faithful servant. Whether it was the guy who came back with 10 or 4, it didn't matter. Just like, Good job, you maximized what I gave you. It's important to Rocky to live a life of balance. This means staying purposeful about his duties on the field and at home. The other life transition that occurred was his, uh, his choice of a mate. Um, Rocky's good fruit. And uh, I know Charlotte knows that. And, uh, and I felt that way. And it was a privilege to see them come together and then play a role in helping them uh, define the relationship and then move forward to determine uh, if marriage was for them. And of course, you know, Rock felt the Lord lead him that way and Charlotte felt the Lord lead her that way. By the way, Rocky's, uh, Charlotte, great athlete in her own right. She's a varsity soccer player here at USC. That's right here. Yeah, so, so that was neat to see. You know, they would come to Bible study together. They came to retreats together. So to see that thing grow and to see it built on a, a good firm foundation that was completely above board, full of integrity and see him honor her, um, that was just beautiful to see. God knew what I needed before more than I know. And it takes a special wife to be a coach's wife. And Charla is the best wife that I could ever have asked for. I couldn't even ask for anything better. Like where 
This, during the season, it's, it's a ridiculous, rigorous schedule. You know, from usually I'm in the office about 6.30 and then getting home past 11 during the season. And then, then there's a recruiting season where I'm traveling. I'm even gone the whole time. And, and there's a spring practice season. So even in the off season, it's pretty rigorous. The coach's wife has got to be supportive. Very much the role of a pastor's wife where needs are constantly being met on the husband. And they have to be really understanding of what's going on. So, and uh, she's what a tremendous wife. And, and now my role as a husband is that when I, as, when I can, I mean, those time, the little glimpses of time that we have, it's all about family. It's all about date nights, all about dinner nights and when we can. And that's what you got to make it a point, you know, where while I'm here, I'm giving everything I got. But once I'm there, I got to be able to tap in and get, get focusing on giving, being able to provide instead of just being a dead rock at home, you know. <laughs>